Welcome back to the Frugal Gardener. This is where I usually say welcome back to my garden, but it is clear that we are not in the garden today. It's a bit windy outside. It's uh, eh, May the 8th. It's a little bit cool for this time of year. And today we're going to talk a little bit about ginger. I was reluctant to make this video because I know that you guys don't have a lot of free time and sometimes you're also short on patience. So I try to stick with uh, fruits and vegetables, well mostly vegetables that you can grow in a short period of time. This is almost the complete opposite. Um, ginger is going to take you seven, eight months before it actually is uh, ready to harvest. This ginger, I let sit around so that it can start to sprout. If you notice, you can see where uh, little white tips are uh, starting to show. Depending upon who you speak to, people will tell you that it's soaked for a couple of hours. Some people will say you don't have to soak it at all. I usually uh, soak it overnight. Makes it a little bit easier when I plan it to try to get it a kickstart to get it jump started. So these are ready to go. I'm basically going to put these in an old container that I didn't have to spend any money for. And this is ginger that I, you can see I've used some of it. And the rest, I deliberately let it go so that I could plant it. Um, basically, <clears throat> the soil needs to be moist, not wet. Um, you don't want a... Uh, a rough soil, a tough soil, you want the soil to be loose and just uh, check on it a couple times a week and um, and you have to have patience. Uh, ginger uh, does require sun and, um, and patience. So I'm going to plant these and um, basically give you an update every so often and hopefully eight months from now when summer is over we would have gone from spring to summer into fall we should have ginger so that's my first video for the ginger i don't want to make it any longer than what i need to so i want to thank you guys for stopping by please tell your friends please subscribe 